Welcome everybody. We are live here with my friend Stu. And um, Stu, welcome back. You were just with me last week and um, I was asking you some questions about your workshop and we are back this week. I've invited a lot of my creative friends who have questions about memberships. Awesome. And well, thank you so much for having me again. Yeah, you're the membership guy. So yeah, I'm excited to uh, answer any that uh, and provide some help. Very good. Very good. Tell us, how did you get that name, the membership guy? Well, it didn't start by, you know, any intentionality uh, by any means. But um, years ago, I had a, uh, a consulting business. It was a great business. Uh, everything was cruising along. But um, the fact of the matter was, is that uh, I couldn't really grow the business unless I gave more time to it. And I just didn't have any more time to give. And so I was looking for ways in which I could grow the business and find more leverage. And that's when a mentor of mine suggested that I start a membership. And I said, well, what's a membership? And he's like, well, <laughs> think about it this way. What you're doing for your clients, you could teach others to do it, uh, but there's no limits on the number of people that you could serve. So he said, you'd be able to serve more people. You'd be able to create uh, more time for yourself and uh, you know, be able to make uh, more money in your business. And I was like, that sounds great. That sounds well, good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so that's how it all began. And then uh, I had trouble back then, this was 2008, with thinking through like the tech and I was getting you know uh, overwhelmed with that. And I was sharing with a friend of mine and he said, well, why don't you just create your own solution? And I was like, is he even hearing me? Like, how am I gonna program my own solution if I can't even use the solutions that are out here? <laughs> and he said, well, look, he said, I have a programmer that uh, has been working with me for years. Why don't we create it together? So we did, and it went on to become the world's number one membership platform for WordPress. And we ended up powering over 70,000 online communities oh, and membership. Oh, wow, I didn't realize it was that many. Yeah, that's awesome. and that's how I you know, really began to learn what works with memberships and what doesn't. And that's, that's began the beginning of my reputation as being the membership guy. So when people had questions about memberships, they were coming to me. And then in uh, 2015, uh, that's when I really started to teach, you know, everything that I had learned being behind the scenes. And, uh, and that's when, you know, I really started to form that uh, reputation as being the go-to guy for memberships. Oh, wow. So really there was like a six year difference in there where you were learning all of those things to be able to teach it to everybody. Yeah. I was behind the scenes, you know, helping tens of thousands of, you know, uh, different membership site owners in all kinds of different markets. And, in that, that's where I began to see like there was a lot of memberships that weren't really growing, but there was this small group that were growing year over year over year. So I just like started asking, well, what are they doing differently than everybody else? Right. You just ask them questions. Yeah. And that's when I started to see like, OK, they're doing uh, things differently in terms of the way they position their memberships, the way they offer their memberships, uh, the content they provide in their memberships. And, and that's what I really started to pay attention to. And so that was the beginning of it. it was really just being mindful. And then uh, um, fast forward a couple of years and I decided to start using it. I created my own memberships and we grew them, you know, very quickly. Uh, some six figures, some seven figure memberships, all using, wow. you know, the principles of what I had learned uh, being behind the scenes during that time. So that's how that all came about this membership experience. That's where you kind of like developed it from there because you had learned the major concepts that you needed to, to, make a membership grow. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. since then, since 2016, um, we've literally helped like tens of thousands of people in all kinds of different markets. And, you know, I never take for granted the fact that we learn uh, what is happening right now uh, on the forefront of memberships, because we have this incredible community of literally tens of thousands of membership site owners. And so we see trends and we see things that are happening way before anybody else, because we have this community of membership site owners. So it's, uh, I'm just really grateful and it's, uh, it's been so fun. Yeah, that's awesome. I see a lot of my friends popping on. So I see Tammy here. Nice. Linda says, hi, Jamie and Stu. I've got somebody, she's got a hot minute, she says. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, oh, Lisa says she's already signed up for the, the membership experience. So she oh, says that awesome. I've been her, her gift. So oh, fantastic. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> So, well, if you have any questions, you can ask Stu here in the um, comments and um, just kind of put questions so I can kind of pull it out of there. Um, Lisa was just saying she just met me in January through Heidi 
And um, she took a course with me that I just finished. And, you know, a lot of the concepts that I've learned the past two years with memberships, I applied them to my course, too, because they... a lot of them work for any type of business, anything that you're going to launch. So, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, at the end of the day, like, you know, what we teach, it works and it works, yeah. uh, you know, definitely for memberships, but it could be applied in, in many different ways as well. But at the core of it, it's, it's taking what we already know, love and do and, and shifting from, you know, hoping that people buy from us again to knowing with certainty that they do by creating memberships. And we can serve people either through, you know, helping them develop new skills. Maybe it's like going from uh, not knowing how to paint to becoming a great artist or, right. uh, you know, not knowing how to do lettering and becoming a great lettering or uh, <laughs> Yeah, sure. Lettering. Sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or, or like I think of um, Ashley Kritz, uh, Ashley Ritz, sorry, she helps uh, sign makers, you know, and so in a similar way, going from not knowing how to make great signs to, becoming a great uh, sign maker. Or I think of uh, Tamara Bennett, you know, Tamara helps people make decorative door hangers. And when I first heard this, I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, <laughs> Tamara, is that like when you go to the hotel and you got like the door, hang- uh, the do not disturb the doorknob. Things? Yeah. She's like, Oh, Stu. She's like, no, she said in the South, she said, instead of putting like a wreath on the door, we put like a, you know, a decorative door hanger. I'm like, Oh, okay. Well, she has this membership. She launched it. Welcome 400 members right from the get-go and has over, you know, thousands of members yeah, now. Yeah, thousands now. Yeah. Learning how to paint decorative door hangers. You know what I mean? So this is all about like, you can uh, take what you already know, love and do and teach people skills. You can help solve an ongoing problem. Like, um, you know, uh, if you have a dog that's wildly out of control to, you know, uh, helping them transform into the perfect puppy. Like that's an ongoing problem, but it's not going to solve itself like instantaneously. Or I think of Ginger Dean, who has a membership helping women who have just oh, left right. a toxic or beautif- uh, abusive relationship. I heard well, her story yesterday. Yeah. yeah, it was beautiful. And she helps um, women go from this place of trauma to being ready and open uh, to find a new love. But you're not going to make that change like instantaneously. Happens yeah, all the it, time. it has to happen over. Yeah, over and time. that's why membership kind of falls into play there. So there's so many different ways in which we can use memberships for, you know, uh, to build our business. And the last one is by creating convenience. So this is where we see like teachers um, or memberships for teachers providing lesson plans for teachers. It's helping them make it easier. Or I think of Michelle, who's got a membership with thousands of members and she provides stencils, uh, stencil templates, you know, for different art markets. So there's all kinds of ways in which we can create convenience and members are happy and willing to pay on a regular basis because we're saving them time. So yeah. lots of different ways in which we can create memberships. Yeah, I think I have some of my members on here. We have the hashtag the start girl member. And, oh, nice. Um, yeah. So in my membership, a lot of it is convenience because the art journaling world, if you type in art journal into Google, it's just thousands and thousands. So yeah, I make it more convenient because I have all the lessons in one place and I actually send out a subscription box. Oh, this way, my subscription yeah. box here. And I send that out with the supplies. So it's a way of making it more convenient. Yeah, it's totally it. Like you're making it so much easier to be able to do that art journaling. Uh, and it, and as a result of that, more people are going to do it and they'll experience the benefits of it. You yeah. Know what I mean, like, and, and that's where I think when you begin wrapping your head around just how easy it is to be able to move forward and, and how we can take what we're already doing and just extend it with a membership site, you begin to see the real possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of possibilities. It's, it's gotten anybody that I talk to kind of interested in, well, oh, I could probably do a membership about this. I'm like, yes, you could. You could do it. I have Tammy asking a question here and she was saying, I have no following, but I do have prior customers and a list of about 1200 emails from the 10 years of doing paint parties. What or how would you recommend getting their attention? So that's a great question. I think it addresses a couple of different things there that memberships could could help with. Yeah, well, Tammy, first of all, um, you do have a following. You have 1,200 emails yeah. of customers who have been with you. You know, they've experienced the value from you. So um, that's an incredible place to start. And one of the things that I would do is I wouldn't go straight into, you know, making an offer of any kind. 
I would probably reach out to them and find out where are they in their art journey, you know, and, and uh, I would have, you know, ex uh, express some curiosity and ask some questions and, and uh, look to find out like, where are they in their art journey? Are they still, you know, uh, doing art? Um, you know, have they done it recently? Like what, what's, uh, what, what are they using for inspiration? And I would begin asking some questions. Just asking that. questions. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and just driving conversation. And then in that, it'll naturally lead to, uh, you'll feel it like uh, a time of when it may make sense uh, to begin introducing uh, your um, membership. And it all starts with like, okay, this may sound crazy, but I, I, I've got this idea. <laughs> and you just start with this, this idea. You don't go and create anything yet. You're just exploring the idea and just gauging interest. And you'll see right away whether what you're offering is in alignment with what that you know, market wants. And when there's alignment, you'll get the response. When there's not, you know, you're not getting the response. It's not to say that the idea sucks. It just, it means to say that it's just misaligned it. with how yeah. we're communicating it. Um, but Tammy, you've got, you know, an incredible opportunity with uh, all those past clients. And my recommendation is first and foremost, just, just reach out and just be honest and say, Hey, it's, it's been a while, but I'm curious, like, where are you at in your art journey right now? Are you still painting? Like, are you still uh, pursuing this? Have you done a paint party recently? You know, uh, you know, just begin exploring with a conversation. Yeah. And I don't know if Tammy knows too much of my story. I've talked with her a little bit, but you know, I realized today exactly two years ago is when I launched my membership and I did exactly what you were saying. I had, I had no emails, like none, none. I had no website. I had like none of that. And I basically just got on a live video and said, this is what I'm thinking you know, do you want to join me in this? And it was exactly two years ago. So I posted about it in the community because it popped up like on my memories. And, wow. Yeah. And, and it was exactly two years ago today. And so what's happened since? Talk to me about that. Uh, what's happened since? So I kept it open for a week and it was right the day that I closed my cart for my open membership. I um, it was the next day that I signed up for at the time it was called Tribe. Yeah. So I, I waited until my cart closed and then I signed up and I got nine members to start and wow. I didn't open the next month, but I've, I've really in some way, whether it's a very simple way or a bigger launch, I've launched just about every single month. Wow. So, yeah. So I've gotten, you know, new members and, you know, some have left and that. And so right now today I have 119 members. Oh my gosh. Like, so, look Look at what's, yeah. and I hope everybody hears and sees the journey. Like it started yeah. with, as you said, like not really having an audience um, and, and welcoming nine founding members to now hundreds of members, which is incredible, you know, yeah. like, and this is part of what is so incredibly inspiring and, and, and exciting is that, you know, we just never know what can and will take place when we get out of our own way and we just begin moving forward, you know, right. and when we, we're not sitting there overthinking, over planning, over analyzing, which, you know, most of us tend to fall into that trap and it prevents us from moving forward. You yeah. know, somebody, go ahead. I'm sure most of the people that are on here can probably remember a time that I told them exactly that. Just mm -hmm. like get started. They'll ask me questions. I'm like, just get started. You will not find clarity until you just get started. Yeah, so, absolutely. And like, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, you know, so many dreams have never uh, materialized, not because, you know, the idea of the plan didn't work out. It's just because the doubt came into play and prevented it from even starting. And so I just, this is where I love to hold space for what's possible, the best yes. case scenario. And, and to encourage people to think like, what if it does work? And, and what if it works a heck of a lot more successfully than you could ever imagine. You know, you mentioned Heidi Easley earlier. Her dream goal was 500 members. Like that was like, knock it out of the park. Like, oh my gosh, that would be incredible. She's four years into her membership. She has more than 2000 plus members. You right. Know? And it's just, this is what I'm talking about is holding space for, uh, you know, that best case scenario um, and, and watching it happen. Yeah. I have, um, my husband was watching for a second earlier and he said, um, tell Stu about the story about Tony Castro, right? You know, Tony? Yes. So he was telling me he really, my husband wanted to get a guitar. 
So about a week or so ago, he said, Hey, I'm going to order a guitar. I'm like, great. You know? And so he was, he researches everything and he was researching. He came in and he was telling me about it. And I said, you found a membership, didn't you? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, actually I did. And he was telling me about it. And I said, I bet he's in the, I bet he's in the membership group or, you know, somewhere in that community. We yeah. tried to find him. We couldn't find the name or I wasn't searching the right way or whatever. And that day on your workshop, I was watching. And during the break, you played the video with him. Yeah, and so I walked over to my husband with my phone and I'm like, is this the guitar guy? <laughs> He's like, yeah, how are you watching that? And I said, this is on Stu's workshop today. <laughs> yeah. So it was, it was so funny because I knew that he had to be in the membership, but I didn't recognize the name. The yeah. way that he said it. Well, his so. business partner Levi is right. uh, who has been part of our uh, community uh, since since we started it. Oh, and funny okay. enough that you bring that up, my my business partner a Andrew last night was saying the same thing. He said that he he joined uh, as well, and 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 I'm like, dude, you've known about Levi for years. He's like, I know, but for some reason, you know, I he he wanted to pick up the guitar, and he's and uh, and then he so. Then he That's researched funny. to find the membership and then he ended up, he's like, it is so good. You know? <laughs> yeah. My husband has been um, going through it and everything. And he said, it's really good. So That's old Tammy, awesome. after we answered her question said that she's so excited now she didn't have a plan and now she has a starting point. Yes. So, that's amazing, that's, Tammy. That's, that's fantastic. Awesome. I, I think that that's one of the things um, that a lot of people that I've talked to, they feel like they're maybe like too early mm -hmm. in their business to get started. And, um, you know, when I started my membership two years ago, I was not even two months into my business. Hmm. And I, you know, I started my Facebook page and I started doing live videos and it was before month two that I opened my membership. So yeah. I think there are a lot of things that go into that. And but can you talk a little bit about that? Because I'm sure you have stories about people starting with no idea, no following, kind of like I did. Yeah. And I think the biggest thing is like to realize that in the membership experience, you're supported no matter where you are in your journey. So if you're in the very beginning stages, we're not going to instruct you to, you know, you know, do all the things because you got to focus on the next right thing. That's why like yeah. the very first uh, immediate, as soon as you register, you'll have access to the uh, foundation strategy. And this oh, is, Oh, I just went through that one today. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> it, and, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited for this year. It is because it helps you get clear on like, who is it you go are going to serve and, and, and how are you going to help? And what does that journey look like? And, and the type of membership that would make sense for that. And that's where the clarity begins to come. Yes. And in the very first module that'll get released on Monday, May 2nd, during our opening ceremonies is all about your audience strategy. So if you're in the very beginning stages right. and you don't it's have perfect. an audience, this whole first module is tailored for you. But yeah. the truth of the matter is no matter where you are in your journey, we all need to learn how to get what we have in front of more people. And that's why that uh, module is there. But even more so, we have a bonus this year that we've never, you know, um, uh, we, re we updated the whole thing and it's called right. Instant Audience. And this is a specific strategy to use to grow an audience from scratch. And yesterday, Scott Curran, who has a yes. membership for dentists, he was talking about how he and his business partner, they, they, didn't, they didn't have an audience, but they used this exact strategy that is outlined in this bonus to begin building the audience. And they worked on the membership as they were building the audience. And then they were uh, ready at the same time once uh, to then uh, launch it. And they did. And fast forward, that membership's a monster success. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, like the most important thing is the decision to move forward, you know? Yes. Um, and once Just that decision started. is made, it's like, it's like a domino effect. You know, all this, you know, goodness begins to happen. The clarity begins to happen. And you begin creating momentum for yourself that when you sit back and you hope and you wait that, you know, someday, one day, that someday, one day, it gets longer and longer, it turns from months into years. And before long, you're looking back saying, where's all this time gone? Like, yeah. why didn't I do it earlier? You know, and, and that's why I want to encourage everybody, like, do not underestimate what is possible for you in such a short period of time. That's why I appreciate you sharing, you know, like nine founding members from an audience that, you, you know, you didn't really have yeah. so hundreds of members a couple of years later. It's amazing. Yeah. 
Yeah, Judy here says that she signed up for the membership experience because of my story. Yeah. Because she feels like if I can do it, then she can too, because she's not that far behind where I was when I started. And, so and I, and I Tracy's think, saying that she hopes that she's there with, with me. Yes, Tracy, for sure, buddy. Well, and yeah. I think too, like, that's a big part of it, you know, um, it, is, Jamie, the way in which you can provide insight for people, because you're not too far removed from, you know, the starting right. point of where so many of these uh, uh, people are who are sharing. And, and it gives another perspective, you know, and that you can trust and that you feel confident in saying like, hey, you know, what was your experience, you know, two years ago when you were at this point? What did you do? And you, Jamie, can speak to that uh, just as well as anybody else. And within our community, that's what I love is being able to tap into that collective wisdom. It's not yes. just, you know, my decades of experience helping tens of thousands, but we get to tap into the experience of thousands of others who have memberships in all kinds of different markets who all started uh, with different levels of experience, some with no audience whatsoever, no business experience, some with plenty of business experience or established memberships and everybody in between. And we get to tap into that. And that's what really makes this special. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I um, I lost track of what I was going to say here because you were saying like so many good things. Oh, community is very important to me. And when I was in the, um, the group that's specifically set aside for the people going through the membership experience, I noticed that the way that you have the community divided up so that all of the artists can find their spot. Yeah. And I love that because it gave us one place to kind of go to and all of the other different, you know, if you're in healthcare, or if you, you know, and you've got it separated out. So I thought that was a great, um, you know, improvement this year to, to make it a little bit easier for all of those people who are similar to find each other. Yeah. And, and, and uh, you know, one of the goals for us is to help you realize that there's so much opportunity for collaboration, you know, within yes. the community. And the moment that you register, you'll have an opportunity to sign up for a connection call. Yeah, and I have mine tomorrow. Amazing. So yeah. this is where our team, we walk you through and help you get a lay of the land and get comfortable and familiar with, you know, where everything is and, you know, how things will be rolling out. But then we also give you an opportunity to connect with each other, you know? Yeah. And, um, this is, it's a, just a great chance to be able to meet your classmates, so to speak, and begin to get to know people who are on the same journey. And it's just uh, the whole thing has been designed to really support you in getting results. It's not just a bunch of modules and lessons. It's yeah. an experience. Oh, it's so reason. much more. I try to explain to people and they don't even, they don't even know what they don't know until they get in there and experience it. Yeah. So, Stu, I know you have um, somebody else probably you're going to go talk to in another appointment, but tell us when is the deadline for registering and enrolling in the membership experience? Well, thank you for that. Yes. Um, so the deadline is tomorrow evening. So it's uh, Thursday, April 28th at 1159 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And Pacific. the reason that we have a deadline is because as a company, we shift gears from promotion mode to serving mode. And this is where, you know, starting on Monday, May 2nd, we are we have our opening ceremonies. Hopefully everybody will come join us. And uh, and then we kickstart off by releasing module number one and we begin the experience. And so um, registration closes on Thursday, April 28th. That's tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So my encouragement to you is come and join us because in the last five years, we've only done this one time a year. And right. uh, this is it. This is when we're all hands on uh, to love on and support you in this uh, in your journey of launching, growing and scaling your membership. And I can't wait to support you in that process. So come join us. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Stu. I know I have a couple of other questions here, so I'll try to um, get to them and answer a few things. But I appreciate you coming and answering questions and chatting with us today. Well, thank you, everybody. Thanks, Jamie. We'll talk soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.